What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs and a look at the most popular national parks in the United States. This summer it looks like we're all going to be hitting the road again. 2020 sucked for tourism and life in general. This summer people will be loading up the kids into the minivan and looking for some adventure. National parks are always a good vacation. They aren't free, but they're a lot cheaper than something like Disney. I had two national park trips when I was a kid, and I can tell you I remember those better than the handful of times my parents took me to like Disneyland or something, or Knott's Berry Farm. We also had that in Southern California. Amusement parks are great. Don't get me wrong. I love amusement parks. I'm a big roller coaster fan. But a national park will just stay with you a little bit longer. Today we're going to look at the most visited national parks in the United States. We will be going off the National Park System's report from 2019. As we all know, most of these places were shut down during different parts of 2020, so we wouldn't really be getting a realistic view of their foot traffic if we used 2020 numbers. So we're using 2019. Since we have 15 on this one, I'm going to be going at a little bit of a faster pace, and I won't be talking as much, so you could just take in the views. All right, let's see what the most popular national parks are. Number 15, Shenandoah National Park. North of Charlottesville, Virginia, and almost 75 miles west of Washington, D.C., you have the Shenandoah National Park. It's in the Blue Ridge Mountains. This park is known for its hiking, overabundance of streams, creeks, and waterfalls. It's beautiful. There's water everywhere in this park. The park is popular with bird watchers, hikers, campers, and it's got over 500 miles of trails, including 100 miles of the Appalachian Trail, which everyone knows the Appalachian Trails. It's one of those things that's on a lot of hikers' bucket list. In 2019, they had 1,425,000 recreational visits to the Shenandoah National Park. Number 14, Bryce Canyon National Park. We head on out to Utah. One of our first stops in Utah, Bryce Canyon. It contains a series of natural amphitheaters, pillars, and bowls. Most famous one being Bryce Amphitheater. This is some beautiful desert rock formations. It's a great place. My favorite is not too far from here, but it's not on the list. It's called Capitol Reef. I think Capitol Reef was in the low 20s, so it probably could have been on this list. I would have done 25, but it's not. Bryce Canyon saw 2,594,000 thousand recreational visitors in 2019. Number 13, Joshua Tree National Park, California. Joshua Tree National Park in California was named after its spiky Joshua trees. Now, I'm sure it had another name before that for like the local indigenous people. But when the Mormons got here, they thought that its branches looked like someone praying. They gave it the biblical name of Joshua. This is really popular with the younger, I, you know, kind of hard to label them, but I would say the bohemian types like to go out to Joshua Tree and uh, have a good time. That's what you do when you're young in California. You head out to Joshua Tree and enjoy yourself. But besides all that, it's still a beautiful place. Even if you hate deserts, this one is worth checking out. A lot of people stop there on their way back from Coachella or something. Joshua Tree National Park saw 2,988,000 recreational visitors in 2019. Number 12, Indiana Dunes National Park. I grew up riding motorcycles at a place in California called Indian Dunes. So there's some bad edits heading your way right now as I try and fix saying Indian Dunes over and over. Indiana Dunes. This just recently became a national park before it was a national lake shore. Sits on the shores of Lake Michigan between Gary, Indiana and Michigan City in the state of Indiana. It's a nice place to stop and really calm your nerves after driving through Gary, Indiana because that's upsetting to anyone. Indiana Dunes. This is popular for people that are into hiking, biking. It's got like 50 or 60 miles of trails through the dunes and wetlands, forests. They got out there some prairies. In 2019, Indiana Dunes. The National Park saw 2,134,000 recreational visitors. Number 11, the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. The Cuyahoga Valley National Park is in between Cleveland and Akron. The Cuyahoga River flows right through this park. It's 33,000 acres with hiking trails, bike paths, and a scenic railroad. So that's kind of cool. I know one guy that 
right out of the army he worked as a park ranger here and he said it's really not a good time during the winter but definitely summer it's amazing in 2019 the cuyahoga valley national park saw 2,237,000 recreational visitors number 10 glacier national park I like Glacier National Park. I've been there like three or four times. The coolest thing about this park is the Amtrak will take you right there to West Glacier, which drops off right at the doorstep of Glacier National Park. It's amazing. Even just taking the train there, the scenery is just breathtaking. The streams and rivers and creeks and all that here feed all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. All that water travels from these mountains down to there. Glacier National Park includes 26 glaciers and one 130 named lakes surrounded by the Rocky Mountains. That sounds like a movie. And here's a great story. I just talked about this probably a couple months back when I was talking about national parks. But in 1967, on August 13, in the early hours, two young ladies, 19 years old, were killed by bears. Two separate bears, miles apart. They hadn't had a bear attack in the 57-year history of the park at that point. Julie Helgeson from Minnesota and Michelle Coons from California were both asleep under, you know, the big sky, northwest Montana sky when grizzly bears found them and carried them off into the woods. It's just so weird. It's A, two females, same night, all those years without a bear attack, and they're both 19 years old. It's really, really strange. In case you're worried about visiting, keep in mind that this park has been a park since 1910, and they've only had 10 fatal bear attacks in total. And considering every single year they get millions of visitors, the odds of you even seeing a bear are decent, but actually having an encounter with a bear that could be dangerous is very, very slim. In 2019, Glacier National Park saw 3,049,000 recreational visitors. Number nine, Olympic National Park, Washington. Olympic National Park has a rainforest, glacier top mountains, and about 80 miles of coastline, actually 74 miles of coastline. The park was established in 1938. The main reason they turned this into a national park was to save the forest back in the day. They were really tearing down the trees. I mean, they were building Seattle and all these other things around Washington and shipping a lot of the wood down to other places. So the lumber industry was big in Washington back then, and they just wanted to save some of it, so they came up with Olympic National Park. Olympic National Park was one of the first places I ever went where you could actually come out of the forest and see the ocean right there. Where I grew up in Southern California, it's the only things around the beaches are houses. There's maybe a palm tree every once in a while. So th I just thought it was beautiful the first time I ever laid eyes on this place. I'm not the only one that thinks it's amazing. In 2019, Olympic National Park saw 3,245,000 recreational visitors. Number eight. Grand Teton National Park. If you've never been to Grand Teton National Park, when you go, be prepared because you'll look at these mountains and you'll honestly think it's fake. You'll feel like you're looking at like a computer generated picture. It's that beautiful. It's perfect. Look at these pictures. This national park is a good place to visit. You have Jackson, Wyoming, not too far. You know, it's whole Jackson Hole, Wyoming is right here. Keep in mind, this is another one. If you go during the winter, it is painfully cold sometimes. So buckle up for that one if you do decide to go during the winter. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's just very, very cold. And if you're coming from someplace like Arizona or Florida, you may cry at night. It's so cold. Grand Teton National Park saw 3,400,000 recreational visitors in 2019. Number seven, Acadia National Park, Maine. Whipping back to the other side of the country, we have Acadia National Park. Now, this one is beautiful. Not a lot of people know about it. I Well, I shouldn't say that. People on the West Coast really don't know about Acadia National Park. I've been there, and it is beautiful. I did not spend nearly as much time as I wanted to. I was there like a half a day. Well, maybe a day and a half, but I wasn't in the park the whole time. I regret that I didn't just spend my time there taking pictures or whatever. Acadia National Park covers most of Mount Desert Island, which 
This is a beautiful part of the country. I mean, even outside Acadia National Park, this whole part of Maine is just great. Bar Harbor is one of the cutest little towns you'll ever go to. I guess it's technically a city, but it just has that whole small town thing going on. It's one of those places you, if you take the East Coast cruise that goes up to Canada, this is one of the places you'll stop and it's worth stopping there. In 2019, Acadia National Park saw 3,437,000 recreational visitors. Number six, Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is, well, first of all, not to be confused with Jellystone, where Yogi Bear's from. This is actual real national park that is in Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Yellowstone is actually the first national park in the world, not just the United States, in the world. Yellowstone has tons of things that you could see, Old Faithful Geyser, Mount Washburn, and Mammoth Hot Springs. There are more than 60 mammal species, including wolves, grizzly bears, black bears, lynxes, bison, and elk, along with deer and everything else, coyotes, you name it, it's there. You can catch a glimpse of a bald eagle occasionally. Now, if you ever go there, make sure you don't mess with the bison because that'll A, get you arrested or run over by bison, or both. It's one of the best places to see wildlife. Yellowstone saw 4,020,000 recreational visitors in 2019. Number five, Yosemite National Park, California. Yosemite National Park in California is the place I've probably been to the most. I'm from California. I've been here three or four times, and each time it was for about a week. It's an amazing place to visit. You have Half Dome, El Capitan. You have Yosemite Falls, which is one of North America's tallest waterfalls at 2,425 feet. It's about 739 meters. You have the giant Sequoia Groves, pristine wilderness in the Sierra Nevadas. It is amazing. If you ever get a chance to visit Yosemite, go see Yosemite. In 2019, Yosemite saw 4,422,000 recreational visitors. Number four, Zion National Park, Utah. Back to Utah we go for the for Zion National Park, which is Utah's first national park. They got a bunch of them now. It's known for its giant, colorful sandstone cliffs. Interesting fact about this place, it was first discovered, they figured, about 12,000 years ago by people that were tracking mammoths and giant sloths. Zion, again, like so many other national parks, when you look at it in person, it looks fake. It really does. That's how beautiful, that's how amazing it is. It just looks fake. That's not a slam to them. That's actually a compliment. When something is so beautiful, it looks fake. I don't know. It's hard to explain. When you see Zion National Park, when you stand at the top of that valley before you walk in, you'll just start questioning everything in your life, I promise. In 2019, Zion National Park saw 4,488,000 recreational visitors. Number three. Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain National Park is in Colorado and it is home to some of the highest mountains in the continental United States. 60 mountain peaks measure more than 12,000 feet here. As you can imagine, this is one of the best hiking spots in the United States. They have almost 60 lakes and streams to fish in. The fishing's really good here. If you ever want to experience the Rocky Mountains, this is probably one of the best locations to do it at. Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado in 2019 saw 4,670,000 recreational visitors. Number two, Grand Canyon National Park. Grand Canyon National Park is in Arizona and it's probably right after Yellowstone and Yosemite, the most famous national park here in the United States. Even though there's one other one that sees twice as many visitors, it's still probably the most famous because the Grand Canyon is terribly famous. I mean, when you look at it, you're just going, this is amazing. But then when you learn the history of all the different people that have lived there and all that stuff that you'll find at their visitor center and their little displays they have all over the place, it's an amazing place. I never could stand it because every time I went there, it was extremely hot. And then people are trying to talk me into riding a donkey down to the bottom of a cliff. Yeah, that made no sense whatsoever. 
Um, I'll stay up here by the air conditioning and take some pictures. The Grand Canyon was carved by the Colorado River. It's 277 miles long, up to a mile deep in certain areas, and up to 15 miles across, like from rim to rim across the river and across the valley. It's like 15 miles at a couple points. It took millions of years of erosion, and it exposed multicolored layers of its mesas and canyon walls. People have lived in this area for thousands of years. And that's a big part of what you learn when you go here. Who lived here and what they did. In 2019, the Grand Canyon National Park saw 5,974,000 recreational visitors. And we're not even at number one. Number one doubles that. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There is a link down below. We would love it if you would go over there, subscribe, watch a couple videos, tell us what you think, all that good stuff. All right, on to number one. And number one, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is in North Carolina in Tennessee, and it's beautiful. It's huge and it's beautiful. It's not as big as Yellowstone, Yosemite, or Grand Canyon National Park, but it's pretty good size. It actually covers 522,000 acres of land. The Great Smoky Mountains is part of the Appalachian Mountains, and it spans a wide range of elevations, making it home to over 400 vertebrae species. Too many plants to really name right now. I think there's over 5,000. They got 100 tree species. Hiking is the main attraction here with over 800 miles of trails, including about 72 miles of the Appalachian Trail. You could fish, horseback, anything you want to do here that's outdoors is available for you. Fishing apparently is pretty good. But like I said, hiking's the main draw to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The Great Smoky Mountain just celebrated its birthday. It was actually established as a park on June 15th, 1934. In 2019, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park saw 12,547,000 recreational visitors. A lot of people going through there. Now, a lot of these places, especially the Great Smoky Mountain, it sees a lot more visitors because it's kind of a little more accessible than maybe Grand Teton or Glacier National Park. They've got a lot of towns, cities and stuff in the area, so it's easier to get to. That doesn't take away from how cool this place is. It's just that's why they have double what the next on the list has. At least one of the reasons they do. All right, that's today's list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. I hope this video encourages you to, you know, go check one of these out. Go out, visit one of them, and see them. It, you'll really enjoy it, I promise you. Unless you get attacked by a grizzly. Then you probably won't enjoy it that much. Especially if it drags you into the woods. All right, everyone. That's today's video. Have a great day. Be nice to each other.